My name is Vanessa Traup, and I'm a docent and volunteer here at the Decorative Arts Center of Ohio. I've been involved here for almost 20 years, and uh, it's a wonderful place to volunteer. Behind me is the western wing, or western facade, of the Reese Peters House, the main building on this property. Uh, this is our museum, and on the first floor is where we have our historical rooms and collections, and upstairs is where we have our uh, temporary art exhibitions. The funny thing about old houses, and if you own one, you probably know this, they're full of mysteries and little things that make you go, huh, why did they do that? Um, and that's what we have on this side of the building. We don't know exactly who the architect of the building was, but we think it was likely a gentleman by the name of Daniel Sifford. He was a popular builder and carpenter in Lancaster at the time when this house was built. And in fact, his own home sits across the street here on High Street and has lots of similarities with uh, the detail of this house. So all around the house, we have symmetrically placed windows. Now on this side, if you look up on the upper floor, you see two windows on either end. Those are obviously used. But in the middle are two upstairs and downstairs four across that have their shutters closed. There are no windows. Behind those shutters is brick. Brick in the same bond, the same pattern of masonry lay um, as the brick on the outside. And structurally, probably the same material. It's kind of funny, about uh, 16, 17 years ago, we did some work to the shutters and by taking the shutters away, we discovered, oh, wait a second, these are bricked in and they were original brick. So why? Um, especially for a side of the building that was not necessarily what the public would see all the time. At the same time, there's always that symmetry, balance, people coming up Main Hill, having maybe an oblique view of the building and you know, it needing to look good. There's also the teased possibility that Mary Elizabeth, William Reese's wife, so original builders and owners of the property, um, she grew up here next door at the Sherman House. Maybe she didn't want to see her family uh, on a daily basis or, or view what, you know, they might be looking at her going, what's going on in the big house? Who knows? That's just a teaser. We don't know that for a fact either. Of course, what we do know is that weather here in Lancaster and perhaps in Ohio comes from the West a lot of the time. And so this side of the house really takes a beating uh, with the sun in the summertime, but also with wind, rain, and snow uh, uh, at other periods. So the idea of protecting this facade from the elements may have also been one of the reasons why they only have two windows. Now you're going to say, but wait, Vanessa, there's a third window upstairs, a tiny little window. Well, that one was not original to the 1835 construction. At some point, either late in the 19th or early 20th century, um, a utility or closet space was turned into a water closet. That's why they added another little window there. And you can see where they patched the brick around, and it doesn't quite match, but it works.